other stuff. Benvido al podcast de Cigarros Hustler Esposito uh, Soto 248. Oh, that wasn't Spanish. Yes, it was. Not, not it, 248. It, it, no, no, that's not that Spanish. No, it's, I don't want to say 248. Didn't come, when I did translate, it didn't come out. But it's been a study released that the uh, success of your show is based on the number of Hispanic listeners that you have. Oh. So we're going to so throw in a, Spanish every once in a while. That's nice. To try to get, I know, it's just your camera on. I don't know what he's doing. You too can be part of our podcast family by investing in our show or any of the shows on the Hustler Universe Podcast Network. Put your products in front of, it's your lighter, in front of thousands of listeners every week on 13 different podcast providers all around the world. All you have to do is email me, Mike, at Mike and Mike Productions for pricing and more information. And please remember to rate, review, and subscribe on whichever provider you use. And Michael, hit the bell. Hit the bell. Is that entire shot just you? Yes. No, he just moved to the, the hit the oh, bell. Gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. Uh, you want to do the gift first? Yeah, we got to get this out. All right, that's All right. What I, have it, I have it on here to do that. So. Oh, you do? Okay. So, Phil. Phil. It was your birthday. Yes. And, and. Oh, sorry. And I know. No, uh, there you yeah. go, Phil. Sorry. See. Si. Very good. Very and, good. Uh, For our no. Hispanic listeners, that is yes. <laughs> For our English listeners. <laughs> For English listeners. Well, I would tell them the Spanish listeners, too. And I know that I had already got you a gift, but Palmer and I had collaborated and decided to get you something else. Oh. So. Yes. It's so. In the, it's in this box. And you can come ahead and get over here and open it. Uh, d okay. Uh, I, uh, you want to hand it to me? No. No, because no. then you won't be on camera. No. Yeah. And we were going to give you a camera for the show, but then you'd want to keep the camera from there right. on. Right. We're so going we to set up. Do that, you know so. what? I could turn this one. But everyone's so. going to see me. Everyone's gonna. Well, oh, it's right. We don't want people to. It see doesn't it. matter. They, you know. Oh, I think by now they know. Yeah, they. Can you want me to just turn this? Know. I can turn this one. It, it's, it's. I don't care. Whatever. No. Yeah. That's. I fine. just. That's I just fine. come open it. That's fine. Turn three real quick. How's that look? Oh, there I am. There you are. Here's Phil. He'll get that one turned on right away. There you go. There you go, Be Phil. Careful. If it bites you, it's not. I'm not uh, held liable. You were not responsible yeah. for any damage done to your person. Yeah. <laughs> Take the paper out gently because it might bite. It's it's an animal. Oh, oh. Hey guys. Oh, oh look, 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 he looks so he's turning hey. red. <laughs> that was very nice. It won't fit you though. Don't try it on. Oh. oh, is this the guy? Which guy? There's more than one. There's more than one on there. It looks like Waddle. That's Waddle. Oh, and I don't know the other Tua. Uh Tua uh, the the great greatest quarterback of all time, yes. And the cheetah. Oh yeah, yeah. right there. You I got, that, that's got, Tua. Yep. And, and that's the cheetah. Yeah, the cheetah is yeah. scribbled. Turn it so the show it to the camera. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh. Yeah. It's, it's thanks yeah. guys. There they look go. much bigger on TV, just so you know. That's you guys real, are, that's yeah. the real size. Yeah, you guys are great guys. That's, that's great actual, friends. That's actual, it's actual size. That's actual size, yeah. This is yes. I'll wear this later. Perfect. <laughs> on yes. his wiener. No, that's weird. No, no, no. no not that's on my... Not, not on my... That's ridiculous. No, no, no. On your fist, be a little finger puppet. Yeah, yeah, a little there. finger... Yeah. 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 Well, you might want to get a nice case for it or something, but, you know. This is going right in my office. Yeah, you know, we were looking at Cheetah, we were looking at Tua, and I'm like, we should just get all three on the same on the same lid. Thank you. I appreciate yeah. you guys. Yeah, yeah, they don't like each other. It was hard to get them all together. Yeah. There's they, they were don't. here. They were here last week when you couldn't. You the, didn't come in. Yeah, they oh. showed up and they signed that. Here. Yeah, when I didn't come in. Right. Yeah. When what day was that? The hurricane when, day. Hurricane day. Yeah. You missed it. You missed it. It, it was a uh, Thursday. Who has a lot of free time now? He's injured. Right. And now that he's concussed. He doesn't even remember signing that. Well, I, I appreciate <laughs> it. This buys you time, so that way we, we, you know, until we go down to the great or uh, smoke on the water. Smoke on the water. Oh, should we tell him? No, nah, let's not tell him. All right. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> tell me. We're not going to tell you. Well, let's just tell him. Come on, tell right. me. I like Palmer. Just Palmer wants to tell, tell him. Why are you going to tell him? Why? Because. Are we going? We've already hinted. We're going. We're we've going. we've tried to go twice. Yeah. Once you couldn't make it. Yep. And yeah. And the other time uh, he couldn't make it, he had a friend that passed. And uh, he canceled on us at the last minute. Yeah. Oh, the the GM or whatever. Yeah. The, the vice president. The trainer or something. Yeah, yeah it was somebody. I don't know. I yeah. was just told it was his friend. 
So yeah, we've, so, yeah we've, so we've worked on this. It's, okay. not, it's not that it's not that we have. No, did, it's been set up twice. It's not that we've backburnered then, it. Yeah. Okay. The yeah. one was your daughter's birthday. No, our Tia's birthday. Was it Tia's birthday? Yeah, I think it was Tia's. Listen, birthday. you guys just tell me what we're doing, and I'll just nick that other thing. And that's the thing, and that's the, and that's where <laughs> right. we fucked up because right. we had and you know we we had a miscommunication between the two of us because I had asked Palmer said, hey, listen, talk to Tia. And find out that you know if this date works, but I, that isn't what I said. That wasn't exactly verbatim. So as what I, I was said. setting it up and then checking with Tia. Yeah, we should have uh, done it the other way around. Yeah. So the second time we set it up with Tia, and then he canceled at the last minute. Yeah. So. So. Okay. Don't worry. It, well, it'll so, happen. You'll, yeah, yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it worked you'll, out. You'll get the you guys touch. are great yeah, friends, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Well, he's, happy, he's, he's, happy he's, late birthday. Thank you. Yeah, and then it got then it was late because of the fucking storm. Right. Yeah, then that apparently now, got lost. No, I feel bad. Why do you I, feel bad? I had to get him some more. No, you don't. Dude, Dude, stop it. You don't. Just stop this shit. Stop. Please, for the love of God. Well, you know how uh, birthdays work. You always how got a one up. Work? Well, you always got a one up the other one up. Dude, you uh, got a, a box to Kevin Hart. And you right, had exactly. Oh, yeah, that's right. just that's just I'm, for fun. That's just because yeah. it was the Tuesday. It was, you know, oh. it's no big deal. I tell you, I used the headphones to cut the grass, the the new AirPod Pro, whatever. Yeah. I couldn't even hear the lawnmower. Isn't that lovely? Oh, those are great. Twice I stopped, like, is this going? Is I used to wear on? them when I would cut the grass. Well, I no longer cut the grass, but I, yeah. when I, you know, because I've given up on that. Right. But um, I used to wear them both when I'd cut the grass. Right. Brittany would get so pissed because she'd try and talk to me or yell oh, for me Adrian or something. Oh, Adrian was power washing the driveway, and I see her mouth every once in a while moving like, I can't hear yeah, it. Yeah. No, no, yeah. No idea. So, there should be like a light on them things or something. She, put, you need, she, she can see them. They're big white things. She told me, you hair. need to put one in. You only get the one. No, yeah. it's, it's not the same. And that was when I decided that I would be done cutting the grass. Oh, because <laughs> <laughs> you can hear your wife. If I have to listen to you, honey, I'm not cutting it anymore. Listen, I want, you deserve my mo- 100% of my attention at all times. I'm just going to Oh, right. So this is, this is cutting into you time. Yeah, and I don't want that to happen. So we should hire a kid. So I hired a kid. Right. Yep, yep. All right, hey, just for the Patreon, we are going to review the <laughs> All Mac. Wait, look at what he's taking our picture. The All Mac Claro Toro. Oh. I've had the Corona Gorda on several occasions, and I fucking love it. I think it's an amazing cigar. I bit my tongue, and like that's a problem. So I'm kind of curious as to how that conveys over into the taste of the bit tongue and, and to the, the bit cigar. tongue plus the Toro. Oh. Yeah. So this is a 14 gram. Cigar. You know, in the new Game of Thrones, they cut some guys' tongues off a couple of weeks ago. I saw that. You know that that was um, the father. Yeah. Yeah, the father. Yeah, yeah. In order to to get free or something. Uh, did you? Watch, I don't know. I'm starting to wane on it. Have you watched this week's? No, I don't think I have. Did you watch last week's? Son of a bitch! No, I definitely didn't. If it's on Sunday Night Football, I'm not watching it. That on Sunday. Well, it's it's a week yeah. old now. I thought maybe you would. have I seen watched it. last week's. I they think. did. They did the time jump. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Again, uh, right? Well, they're not little kids anymore. They jump to the next. Oh age yeah, yeah, I did it. That's where yeah, the tongue got. Oh, is that the is that the one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm starting to lose interest. I don't like the time. Oh, last uh, this week was pretty good. Was it? Yeah. Okay. Hopefully it'll redeem them themselves or whatever. But. The time the time thing's hard to get used to. Uh, and another five years. Like, yeah, like uh, oh, and, and, all and they all have children. And we're ten like, years. What? Yeah, what? and they all hate each other. They're all little shitheads. Oh yeah. It's like great. And the dude th- that she was fucking no longer fucking. She, no, uh, he's now uh, the other lady's yeah, she, uh, uh, man. Friday. She she, she hates him. He hates but now her. she's been fucking somebody else because she's got yeah. all these dark haired children. Yeah, this just crazy. And everybody goes, "Oh, it's fine. It's gonna be her. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. blonde. Her husband's blonde. She's got black haired children. It works out great, right? You know what they say? It's good to be the king. Do whatever you want. Oh no, the king king getting old. Not good to be yeah. the king anymore. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my we're talking God. about House Targaryen. Uh, yeah, House Targaryen, or what? Just, just, uh, just a brief, dragon brief surmise. Something, right? Yeah. So, oh, yeah. uh, any damage in house from the storm? You get all caught hey, up on the storm so, yeah. stuff. I mean, so we survived the storm. You right, know. we got fairly lucky up here, and at least well, where we are. Well, you know what? What's yeah? I mean, listen, Fort Myers, Fort Myers, John Fort Crabtree, Myers, oh Crabtree, yeah, they got fucked up. Yep. I mean, there's a lot of devastation over there, and you know what? But that I didn't really kind of elaborate on what I was saying last week's episode. I hate when they do like the oh we're gonna shut it down and you shut shit down early right, right. especially in the central of, of the of the state of Florida right because Wednesday we you could have operated yeah 
You could have, there was no issue. No, everything was still okay here. Right, right. Shit didn't get kind of sideways until Thursday. Thursday, yeah. Like mid Thursday. Right, I was going to say midday somewhere. Yeah, closer to the evening. Right. And then, you know, and then it kind of blew past, right? Right. Still a lot of flooding up here, though, too. A lot of flooding. A lot of flooding. A lot of flooding. Right. So much flooding. Yeah. Uh, I guess Osteen was hit pretty bad. That's where most of uh, yeah. my wife's students are from. Yeah. And I, a lot of them lost a lot. I had a couple little leaky leaks, you know, that happened on my house, but nothing like major. Yeah. I lost uh, a couple of fence panels. I did lose. I am redoing. We all have my those fence windows. Panels. You can tilt them in to clean them. Oh, ooh, fancy. Those, well, they came to the house. Oh. But one of those blew open during oh. the night. Oh. So I woke up smelling water. Ah. And so, you know, you're panicking, you run around the house, trying to figure out where the water is, you're looking at the roof and everything, and then I see the window was blown in, and the rain and everything's blowing in the window. Mm. So, but... There's death in the air. Right. No, but right. that wasn't, I mean, it, it just a rug. But it, it just dried it up and they're stuff. they're saying this one, this one might be like the worst catastrophe ever. Yeah, consider where, where it went in. Uh, did you hear the the legend about Tampa? Why Tampa never gets hit by a hurricane? No. Uh, there are some Indian burial grounds in Tampa. Really? And they say there is uh, some type of spell or something on Tampa Bay. That's why a storm has never took a direct hit to Tampa Bay. I don't buy that shit for a second. You're on, Phil. That sounds ridiculous. What happened to all the water? Did it ever come back? Uh, out Oh, out in the Gulf? In the Bay. They showed like a, yeah, I show, a video of it. I'm sure I saw it, it was dry. I'm sure it came back in. Yeah. They're saying the water is not going to subside till after the 7th around here. Yeah. Mm. The lakes in my neighborhood uh, filled, but they didn't overflow. We lost power at the shop for a day. We lost internet for like a week, which really kind of sucked. Uh, I didn't have power for four days at my house. Yeah. That sucks. Oh, yeah, it's terrible. No power, no fun. No, there's nothing to do, nothing yeah. at all. I mean, what sucked here, too, with, like, the internet is we tried to do hot spotting and shit like that. Right. But, you know, because cellular, like, the cellular towers were so fucking If you would get up early, because I always got up early anyway, so from, like, 5 to 7 in the morning, you could do anything you wanted with your cell phone with cellular service. Mm -hmm. But at 7, everybody must be getting up, and everything starts slowing down or not yeah. loading. Yeah, but we're, uh, you know, we didn't experience the, the real force of this no. thing. Uh -uh. No, we got lucky. So we're fortunate to kind of, we had like a down day and, and things were kind of getting right back. here now, at the shop. Yeah. Now there are uh, obviously there are people that we know that yeah. are local that are, that are dealing with floods and shit like that. And then obviously like the crab trees and people down in Fort Myers. Are, right. Yeah. Yeah. It's a fucking, it's they a have uh, some places have water now, but they're not saying power for another week. Like Ooh, Dominic, up here? No, down there. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Man. Dominic down there. He got hit pretty hard too. Yeah. His pool enclosure just. <laughs> Yeah, that shit. And he's got yeah, chance. he's got no power or anything at his house. Yeah, I mean, you know, I remember like one of the first videos is like, oh, the, all the screens are blown out. I'm like, they're fucking screens, right? Yeah, that's stop. Minimal, minimal stuff. Come on, man, stop. That's a fucking little rubber piece of fucking rope and and fucking right half a day. You you can fix that, unless it's up high. Then you need somebody. Right. Yeah. Somebody come and rescreen. Yeah. So. We go. I survived Hurricane Ian. Yes, you there did. You did very, you, you, yeah. you, you, very well. You made it. Yes. You yeah. didn't even lose power, did you? No, no. Yeah. It glitched at one time, and we're oh, like, "Fuck!" Thing. Don't oh, do, poor. don't you do it. <laughs> don't, don't come don't, back. Don't. Out. It said, "Boo, boo." I'll tell you what didn't survive Hurricane Ian at my house. What, Michael? The trampoline. Oh, is it gone? Did it blow away? No, I, uh, I Hannibal Lecter to cut it up into little pieces, and oh, you didn't see that one thing? The guy turned it upside down, parked his car in it. No, no. No, this thing was, it was on its last leg. It yeah. was, it needed some repairs and stuff. And Oh, it was getting dangerous. You know, it depends upon what parent you ask <laughs> as far as it was getting dangerous. Oh. I felt that it wasn't extremely dangerous and the kids were would have had a good time on it. Oh. I think that Teddy would love the trampoline. Though here's the problem. Right. Is I have two boys. Yes. And they beat the shit out of each other at this point. Right. Oh, okay. So that just turns into a wrestling ring without question. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, they're at With that the bouncy, age. It's, yeah, it's just yeah, like a wrestling ring. Where shit thing, goes right? nuts. Right. You know, I mean, we asked them to go clean their room yesterday, and we're, and we're looking at the cameras, and they, you know, they pick up one or two things and they start pelting the shit out of each other with whatever they're grabbing. Oh, oh yeah. I'm like, Jesus, guys, come on. We, you, we, you, all you have to do is clean the one room. We cleaned everything else. Just the room. Just gives this oh, tiny. Oh, yeah, they share a room now, so they're cleaning together. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. They're a unit. 
Are they in the trampoline? They take like a metal chair out there, <laughs> or a ladder. Yeah, they they start going. Ladder they match. Doing it's the a ladder Johnson match, thing. right? Yeah. <laughs> they go, hey. yeah. Oh yeah, it's it crazy. It's crazy. So yeah, it's um. What I'm doing with that? You know, who knows? Maybe one day the trampoline will come back. Oh. In you know full force, 100 percent right. health, brand new. But oh. as of right now, get Teddy your own. The voice you cannot go in is this for Teddy. She would she would coax them in. Oh, she wouldn't. Come on. Yeah, come, on, come, on, come, on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Double bounce. <laughs> Double bounce. Come on. Don't yeah. pay attention to Bubbles. Bubbles yeah. is fine. Bubbles is fine. <laughs> bubbles oh, is yeah. forcing them in. <laughs> you know, the one really good thing about a hurricane, if it doesn't directly hit you and destroy your home, is everybody's yards get nice and oh, clean. Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> a lot of shit piled up in the road, though. Yeah, everybody's got to tidy all that shit up. And it's like, hmm, right. you know. I never seen anybody be like, "Fuck it, I'm leaving everything." Like I've never, right. I've never come across that. Yeah, Adrian's out picking up every little twig. I'm like, "Honey, I'm just running over there with the lawnmower." Yeah, it's yeah, fine. It's gonna be fine. There's it's no gonna... place to put it. All the yeah. garbage cans are full. Yeah, my neighbors, they went around, they clean up everybody else's yard. Oh, not nice. Yeah, they're way better than me. Oh, yeah, they're, I mean, they're nice they, people. Oh, yeah, I'm very. It's the guy that helped you put your fence back up. Yeah, yeah, he helped me put yeah. my fence back up. Right. Yeah, and they're like, you know what? This is a great idea. We should just keep moving. Yeah, we're just gonna keep picking just up. Just keep shit. going down the road. We'll be fine. They did. They they cleaned up a lot of people's houses. Oh. Like, no questions asked. Just kind of did it. Oh, no, like, I cleaned up your yard for $20. No, I don't well, think so. Just, come on, honey, let's think, go. We're going to yeah, clean up. I think they just did it. Wow. Very lucky to have them as neighbors. Yeah, it sounds like it. Do they want to move? No. 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 Okay, Actually, right. if I ever move, I'm going to I'm oh, gonna, gonna, I'll, I'll have to find a second home. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. need two houses together. Yeah, yeah. I need two. Two yeah. houses, please, right next to each other? Yeah. Steve, this is yours right here. <laughs> We found a house for you. We found a house. We don't want to move. No, no, but we are. So yeah, well, well we're leaving. And right, you're you coming. Have to come you have too. To come. We did like sleep overnights and stuff this weekend. The kids, they had it. They had a great time. They didn't want to go back. To, I mean, it was miserable for Monday to back back to school. They're crying. Oh, Volusia County is this shit. not going till Wednesday at this point. Volusia County is a fucking mess, dude. It is. I mean, yeah. give me a break. Well, there's four schools that. They can't even, the at last count is flooded and they couldn't even get to them yet. So close those schools. They can't just close four. Do online. Well, they already you have, have the that. infrastructure. They already have that anyway. Yeah. They turn, still offer that. Just turn it back on. No, it's still running. Okay. There's a whole separate group of teachers so that do the online. You thing. four schools online for the next fucking week. It's, it's not just flipping a switch, Michael. It is. No, it's not. It really is that simple. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, because the kids are enrolled in a different school. It doesn't matter. They, turn can't, on. they can't cross I the records. I don't care. You don't know how anything works. No. Yep, hey, your, we're, we're in studying. Your golden castle there. We're studying ready, chapter ready with the power. Chapter four of fucking social studies. What was that? Friday, you called me. Go, you going in? Yeah, I'm going to go in later. Okay, I'm going to go to the gym. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm going to the right. gym. I'm emptying my freezer, Michael. You go to the gym. Yeah, I'm going to go work out. <laughs> my phone's almost dead. I can't talk long. That's good. Good for you. <laughs> you go you to know, the gym. I got to. Hey, well, I have a charger at the gym. I, have, I haven't worked out in two days. Hey, whatever you you really, if you really want a hot shower, I got a guest pass. You come right no, in. No, no, we had. good to go. We had. Hot water. Yeah, you would have a gas hot water heater. Look, you could have just hung out of the gym. You could play some pickleball, whatever, <laughs> swim. Oh, nice. Pickleball. There's all types of shit going down at the gym. Oh, I was that never place there for was next fucking time. packed. I bet it was. Yeah. People without power. Yeah, they, they were all there. I'm like, right. you fucks. Get out of here. This is my time. <laughs> my time. I've not worked like, out in days. I just want you to know this is the standard. I am the standard time person for here, and you do not belong at they this didn't, time. They didn't like block off the machines, you know? No blocking. No, I'm actually pretty gracious and very patient. What with about that your sort bicycle? Didn't they get access to the bicycle? Uh, I didn't get access to the bicycle that day. <sighs> I have my own bicycle now. Oh, so you don't use that one there anymore? I still use that my That problem's bicycle. been eliminated. No, I still, no. Oh. No, I still use that bicycle. Oh. But I have the bicycle at home, too. Oh, gotcha. Double bicycle. Oh. Yeah. Um, when I was fixing the neighbor's house, I did, the bicycle was just sitting there. She's still not using it. And I was like, I could have got rid of that for you. Yeah, that could have been done. I could have had that out. That worked out well, because you know what? The assault bike is far less than the fucking Peloton. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. 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 I don't need that. Yeah. She I has a brand this. new bike that you ride in the garage, too. So has all the tags and everything on it. Like, oh, really? I could have got rid of that, too. Yeah, well, I could have had someone pick up both of us. 50 bucks. No. All the bikes gone one time. Yeah. It's, a well, it's a pink beach cruiser. I don't think you would want it. Mm. The big you handlebars, the big tires with the white walls on them. At 38 years old, bro, I don't give a <laughs> you don't fuck. Care anymore? Yeah, I just don't. I, you could have turned that into an assault. There is just zero fucks given. Yeah, I would have made it so that you my just arms would work. put that little thing yeah. on the bottom of it and yeah. roll it in your house. Perfect. Oh. No problem. Good deal. I, yeah. I, if I have to go over there, I'm going to go, look, I can get rid of these. Package deal here. How's the bike? How you, are you using it? You still hanging clothes on that thing? <laughs> <laughs> That's what they turn into. I think if I bring the Peloton home, my wife will hand me divorce papers. Tell so, her yeah. it's for her. <laughs> oh, that that goes over real well. 
What am I, yeah. fat? Yeah. What are you trying to say? No, no, no. I would never. No, honey, I just thought you'd fit so you live longer. You want the Peloton. I would like you to live a long I mean, time. The Peloton bike, it, it looks, I mean, I've heard a lot of good things about it. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. But I you like my see, assault bike. You don't see them as much as you did at one time. No, I because think. people are going yeah, out. The, yeah, yeah. the curve is yeah. already gone on the back down. Yeah. But, you know, the people, like the the some of the people that bought it have stuck with it, you know, they like it. They're happy. Oh, with I'm it. sure. Because you can just bust something, you know, I'm going to go fucking jump on the bike for 30 minutes. Right. And you watch whatever yeah. on the thing, some lady telling you to pedal fast. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Well, Move, I, you fat fuck. Yeah. One piece yeah. of equipment's going to yell at me. Yeah. <laughs> exactly what I want. That's too slow, you piece of shit. <laughs> faster, faster. What the hell's wrong with you? Hmm. So, <sighs> we, we did do our event, our cigar event on Friday. Uh, yes. Which is interesting without internet. But we did yeah. it. Yeah. And it was a good, uh, good turnout. Yeah, man. We make, we make right. it work. When I got here Friday, Keanu was inside in the dark, ringing up people cash only with his phone using the calculator so he could make change. You know, you got to give that kid <laughs> fucking credit, man. You yeah. Gotta, yeah. Think about how far that kid has come over the period of time that he's worked here. He's the new John. No, because, no, here's the difference. John would get angry and disgruntled well, and yes, not yes, talk yes. to but you But, I mean, he started, he started, yeah. you know, as a troubled youth. Yeah. Keanu's then, still troubled youth. Don't well, get me wrong. Let's not let's not get no, fucking no, crazy. No, no. But he's not all the way there yet. But I the son of a bitch. Work in progress. I mean, you get you know, he texted me last night. He's like, hey, you know, I can come in tomorrow and help catch things up since we'll have internet. I'm like, did you lose a shift because of the hurricane? He goes, Yeah. I'm like, fuck yeah, bro. Come on in. Come on in. He bought a boat. He did buy a boat. He bought a boat. He did buy a boat. <laughs> so he could come into work. So he can get to his house. So he can get to his house. <laughs> Because <laughs> he's flooded at his house. And apparently, there's alligators all around his house. I believe it. The neighbor called and said, I'm sorry, there's alligators like all around your house now. <laughs> well, hey, listen, you know, all all uh, jokes aside or whatever, we hope that everybody's doing okay. And, yes. you know, hope everybody gets back on their feet as soon as possible, especially people in Southwest Florida. Yeah. Uh, my son has water, but still no power. Yeah. So the water gets turned back on. So he's working as many hours as possible because the firehouse has power and water. You know, there was some conserve water thing going around, like don't use water. Up here? Yeah, oh, in Seminole County or whatever. Oh, Seminole? But then I saw somebody testing the fire hydrant, just fucking going nuts. Like there's not enough water? They're just running the fire hydrant? They're just, well, I'm, I'm assuming that the drains are full. Right. Right? This guy, he's testing it. Oh, and geez. water's just going everywhere. I'm like, that doesn't seem Could've right. Seen, it could have been another time, Tail's maybe? kind of wagging the dog on that one, but another whatever. Time. Yeah, the lakes are so full in my neighborhood, the swales in front of the house that drain into the lakes are all full, too. Yeah, let's let's fill the drains a little more. Right, yeah, let's run more water. I wonder how this fire hydrant's working. Some guy in the street's going, oh, we're flooded now, no, honey. Look at this. I can't believe this. Fucking it's sitting. not bad water, though. Look, it's, it's, it's all backed up. It's very clean. Somebody got a work order and didn't question it at all. Going in. Maybe this is a bad time to <laughs> clean the fire hydrant now. Yep. Um, hi, I'm, no, no, go ahead. You I'm get the work. Government, I'm here to help. Right, no kidding. By the way, Brett Fry, I know that you don't listen, or I know that you listen, and uh, you said you were going to call me back in three to five minutes. That was two hours ago. He's very busy. So what the fuck? I'm still waiting on Boots to call me and tell me if JJ's going to be able to do the show last Tuesday. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> well, you can always ask Phil. Ah, uh, he's ready as Phil. Last Tuesday? Yeah, I mean, it's worked itself out by now, but still, you never call me back. <laughs> oh, <last>. Ring, ring. <laughs> <laughs> There's Phil now. All right, so what do we got going on? Let's get into this. Get into the news? Yeah, because there's some shit that went down. From the four quarters of the world, all the cigar industry news you could possibly need. The Cigar Hustler Podcast Report with Mike Two. Southern Draw announces Morning Glory is newest core line. Southern Draw. Thank you very much. Southern Draw Cigars announced its newest core line, Morning Glory, which will be coming to, glory. <laughs> coming to stores during early 2023. Coming though, to stores. Yeah, coming to stores. Mm -hmm. uh, though they will get an early release nice. through Cigars International in two sizes that won't be part of the regular release. The blend <laughs> features a Connecticut-grown Claro wrapper that is light in color, while the binder is a Nicaraguan-grown Habano hybrid, and the filler is made of Nicaraguan Corojo 99 and Criollo 98. Nice. In a press release, the company said it used, oh, fused, sorry, it fused six tobaccos to create its gentlest blend, resulting in an incomp incomparable brown butter flavor, somewhere between subtly roasting, elegantly nutty. 
while remaining classical smooth, internet, uh, intentionally delivering a medium intensity that will be easy for most to enjoy. As with all Southern Draw offerings, it's made at A.J. Fernandez Cigars in Nicaragua and Esteli. It's coming in three sizes. The Morning Glory Rothschild, the Morning Glory Churchill, the Morning Glory Diadema. It's the Diadema. What's that? What's that? I mean, that, I'm, I'm familiar with the word, but I can't, I can't picture it. It's kind of like a, almost like a Lonsdale, but it's figure out on at the end. It's ah, very it's long. It's, it's almost maybe six like... Six and three quarter by 52. Yeah, thinner than a oh, Churchill. Yeah, very, very long. 52? 52. Wow, it's pretty big. Pretty big size. It's the big Morning Glory. That's a large one. Each size we offered in ten count boxes. That's with the, the that's the sexually frustrated morning glory. Right, the blue yeah. one. It's the in blue, a blue. It's, it's in a blue, blue box too. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Boop, boop, uh, heavenly blue color scheme of the boxes and multicolored cigar bands were carefully chosen by Sharon Holt to embody the morning glory blooms and its climbing green vines. Again, it's named after a plant, as everything else. Of course, is, yes, of course, it makes sense. The blend is a beautiful token of our daily appreciation of our SDC family that we have not previously been honored. Said Robert, Sharon, and Ethan. Jacob Holt, oh, a lot of them, via press release. <laughs> Despite their financial investments and collective patient dedication to our continued growth, all have remained quite off stage, but just behind the drawn curtain. A very public thank you to Auntie M, Brendan, and Paul, Ellen, Sean, Mark, and Julie, George, and Kim, Michelle, Kyle, Chris, Larry, Dan, John Tom, Ringo. Amy. <laughs> <laughs> all the two sizes going to Scars International. And the other one we never think of. German Engineered Cigars announces the... Veltschermeers as Boy, third the quarter. The Veltschermeers. Do I the Veltschermeers? German Engineered Cigars, one of our favorite companies that we can never find at any trade show. Yeah, we can't. They're there somewhere. <laughs> Has announced that the cigar is released under the Autonom lineup, named Autonom. to garner feedback and select a second Vitola. Now that's difficult, or now is the official name. Belton Smears, which will be the company's third core line, is scheduled to debut in November. The company also has the results from the vote to see what will become the second Vitola. Second. Second. The line uses an Ecuador and a Bano Oscuro wrapper, a binder from Nicaragua, Jalapa region, with fillers from Esteli, Jalapa, Nicaragua. The blend was developed in partnership with Claudio Segroy. Oh. Yes, you like Mr. Segroy. <laughs> and pronounced and produced by Tambor in Nicaragua. The company debuted the project in late June, but it didn't disclose. I'm looking for a quote. Oh, here we go. We are currently working on the new packages we and we're still working. in the development process, said <laughs> Oliver Nichols, co-founder of the Chief Cigar Engineer. As for the line's name, Beltenschmier is German for a feeling of melancholy and world weariness. Oh, it sounds sad. It is a cigar for the darker moments of life. The cigar is dark, the aroma is complex, and it feels feeling smoothing. When you are sad, you should smoke the cigar. <laughs> you describe the aromatic experience of Wilton Schmier as back in the rolling hills of home. <laughs> the oven still warm, childhood memories in the air, all is well. Mm, I'm German, I don't the say The company will continue to warm. order <laughs> 10 count boxes. It's not, it's not the other toll is under the different name. Warfighters, Hero, Sports, and Victory, 4th Edition, shipping on Friday. Is this the next one? This next story. Is Warfighters? Warfighters. Okay. It's the guy from... Uh, the, America. Uh, America. No, no. Warfighter is the guy from oh, yeah. uh, the, 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 the spinoff from Sons of Anarchy. Uh, oh. I never watched that one. You were I talking about the Mayans? It. Yeah, yeah. That was it. I couldn't get into it, but he was on that show. Oh. Now he made his own cigar? He made his own cigar. And now he's... A whole uh, brand. It's a whole brand. Mm-hmm. Warfighter 2 Cigars, Warfighter showed off at this year PCA convention trade show are ready to begin shipping tomorrow. Mm -hmm. The Warfighter Hero Sport was created as a way to support and raise funds for Hero Sports, a San Antonio-based charity that offers service members and veterans opportunities to play sports. A sport. So Phil can play sports. As well Phil, as hunt Phil and fish, attend concerts and other activities. A portion of the sales of the Hero Sports Cigar will be donated to the charity. Phil's, Phil's big into the sport. Yes, he's big into sports. Yes, yes I am. He likes the sport. He likes the sport. The second cigar is a Warfighter Victory 4th Edition, the newest installment in the company's Victory Series. It uses a Brazilian Matafina wrapper over Nicaragua Binder. Filler comes in a 6x54 uh, Toro Vitola. Se ooh, 1776 per cigar is offered in a 10-count box. It was a production limited at 2,000 boxes. You know, I was really hoping he'd cry when he got that, that helmet, but no, it was, it was close. It was close? Yeah. He, but... he got... Unknown he... caller. Oh, 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 that's uh, me. Oh, that's you. Thank goodness, it's not me. That was not me. I like that it on. Yeah, I I gotta block that again. I usually have my phone on so that I don't. Anybody who's not in my phone, it gets blocked right away. Oh, but I had to change that for some reason. I'm gonna fix that right now. Don't worry. All right, I'll just keep going. Keep going about the warfighter. Tell no, that one's more. over with now. 
It's over. Yeah, we, we have another story. Oh, tell me. Southern Draw announces the- Southern Draw is just all over the place. <laughs> the, uh, I can't pronounce this word, Hyant- Silent Unknown Callers, check mark. Southern Draw has announced a trio of new cigars will be released next week as part of the two installments of the company's Ignite charitable program. First up, the Hyacinths. Hyacinths? H-A-H-Y-A-C-I-N-T-H. It's a plant. I could say it before I read it. No, I read it. I can't say the name. Because it doesn't sound like the way it's spelled. Spell it again. H-Y-A-C-I-N-T-H. Rose. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, they already have one golden rose. Right? H word, uh, yeah. H word, high, high science, high science. Something like a, uh, it looks like a hibiscus flower. It's a hibiscus. It looks like that. We'll call oh, it the hibiscus. Oh, oh, oh. Six and a half by forty-six Lonsdale it features an alternate blend variation of the company's. There's a word again. That means a <laughs> Connecticut grown wrapper, a Nicaraguan Habano binder, and fillers from Nicaragua. Next is the Penny Royal, a six and one eighth by fifty-two Pyramid Vitola that uses a Mexican San Andreas Maduro wrapper. A Habano hybrid binder from Nicaraguan filler that is half Nicaraguan grown leaves and a quarter Honduran grown and the remaining 25% broadleaf lajero. Mm. Grown in the U.S. Broadleaf lajero. In the U.S. In, yeah. Two from, c- from Connecticut. Well, yeah, that's where they grow it. Yeah. yeah. In right. Connecticut. The third, the third, the third, the third, the third, the third, the the third cigar is the Crocus, a 7x50. Crocus. Crocus, C-R-O-C-U-S. Crocus. What if it's Crocus? I don't think it's Krakus. That's a planet somewhere, isn't it, from a movie? Krakus? Planet Krakus? Isn't that where the uh, Klingons live? That's, a, that's the next one, the Southern Draw Planet Edition. Right. Yeah. Seven by 50 Churchill. The Pluto is a... Uh, Variation pe- of the company's Rothschild. lady killer. Let's see. Um, Crocus will be released in a five-count draw Saturday pack. Saturday's two cigars. Pack will contain the Crocus. A total of 10,000 samplers is being produced for one the release. One orbiting the... Price instead of 39.99. Excellent. We'll just skip booze that way. Get to I. You, you know what I'm waiting for. Give me the yeah, end. Just get me there. The get me there, guys. Luciano Cigars oh. names Trevino as director of sales. Oh, that's that's interesting. Luciano Cigars, formerly known as Ace Prime, is named yeah. Ed Trino as the company's new director of sales, yeah. adding to his dream team. <laughs> Trevino has worked. Which, matter of fact, he looks like he would be on uh, basketball player. No, 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 no. He looks like he would be uh, in a biker game. Oh, he does. It looks like the one we mentioned earlier. Now I can't. The Mayans. Look like he it. looks like a warfighter. He looks like he'd be a Mayan. He, he should have been a warfighter. Warfighter uh, joins Luciano. Trevino has worked in cigar business for nearly three decades, including uh, General Cigar Company. Most recently, his regional sales representative for Crown Heads. Oh, he defected. He defected from Crown Heads. Oh, my. Oh, oh no. Baby. Get there. Get there. God damn it. Like, oh, no. Which now he says. Oh, no. All the time. He should have a shirt. It says, oh, no. Cigar Hustler Podcast. Oh, no. I love that. We should make that for him. Uh, let's see. Luciano Cigars will be taking over its own distribution effective November 1st. Damn. Pre- previously, Crown Heads had been the distributor of Ace Prime. However, the distri- distribution agreement will come to an end on October 31st after an acrimonious split between the two companies. The press release lists Luciano Cigars. Did you see John Huber's interview? He did an interview on a on a, some show. Yeah, God, I suck. cigar I'm cigar a group. terrible person. You know what? I can't say words in front of me. You don't know what shows you watch. So Dude, it, I'm telling anyway. you, man, I'm fucked up. Let's see here. I'm gonna tell you. All right, what's the show? From a reliable source, I would never give up my 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 sources. Is this a source from before? No, this is a different source. Oh, all sorts have, of sources. I have multiple sources. Let's see. Ah, uh, shit. Multiple sources. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get there. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait. Light em up lounge interview. Oh, no wonder you never heard of that. I've never heard of that show. Yeah, yeah. So Huber um He picked that show you know, to do his comeback. I don't on? I don't know. You group. know, I'm not gonna lie. It I I listen, I yes. don't mean to pick anybody apart, but I did I did listen to the interview and I was like, oh, man, you know, Liven up a little bit, you know, as far as the guy giving the interview. And I'm, you know, he probably has fucking, oh, right. he probably, guy probably has like 7 million fucking listeners. Who knows? You know, he's right. probably doing More it way, way better than us. Certainly. But it doesn't take much. So, yeah, I mean, you know, it's fucking two slaps. Taking our way through the <laughs> thing. 248 episodes. But, don't know what the fuck we're doing. But here's what I will yes. tell you. So I listened to Huber at the end and I'm like, I never really listened to any interviews with Huber before. And I'm like, right. man, this guy's a pretty cool guy. You know, oh, he's like, a nice I got, guy. Huh? I got a lot of respect for him, oh. and the way that he, he del- likes charcuterie. He's probably not a fan of charcuterie. Probably not. Yeah, that's, probably that's not. That's at probably this what point. happened. Uh, right. uh, or yeah, the wine. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
So, so but, Baron Pizza guy. But I could tell you that he was very well spoken. You know, he had his thoughts and, and yeah. like the whole thing together. Oh. And I'm like, damn, this guy, uh, yeah. Yeah, this he guy. He makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Oh. He makes good. a, yeah, I agree with what John's saying. What he's saying? Yeah. What did he say? Paraphrase. Don't quote the man directly. I'm going to tell you the one thing that he said that really stuck with me. Okay. And I'm That's probably going to, and I'm probably going to fuck it up. That's right. It, it's, it's not a direct quote. He said. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Something like. Yeah, we're completely covered now. Say whatever you allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. He said, salt looks the same as sugar. Right. Right. But it tastes totally different. Right. Right. So it's, you know, he's just kind of paraphrasing is that. Oh, okay. Yeah. I yeah, got you. Yeah. Oh, and nice. You I know. like that. Yeah. Deception is a motherfucker, you know, is really what it boils down that's to. That's your, he didn't say that. Though. No, no, that's, oh. yeah, to, to surmise, like, you know. Hmm. And, uh, hey. Yeah, that's it. Well, Kudos. John, I like John Huber. Huber's a good guy. Oh, now you like him. Well, you yeah. didn't dislike him before. No, I didn't, I didn't really, like. You I, just didn't have an opinion. You know, it's, I, I've just never geeked out about anybody, you oh, know, well, ever yeah, in yeah. the cigar industry. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not like, oh my God. Oh, geez, there he is. Oh, that was there he is. Can, can, we go? Go? can I hold, can I hold him? <laughs> can, can we get the picture? Can we hold that? I would I like picture. Photo. I picture. I'm just not that guy, right. you know, so I never had a reason to talk to John here right. before. I deal with Wes and Wes puts up with a lot of my bullshit. I mean, all of my he bullshit. He was hanging out. Uh, with oh. Michael Herklotz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So apparently they're friends. So like my relationship and, and I know Miguel and right. like I shoot the shit with Miguel. Like I never really Shadel. Me- the guy with Miguel the, Shadel. The guy with shingles. Miguel Sh- shingles. Shingles Shadel. Shingles Shadel, they call him now. That, that's his name. That's, 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 yeah, that's they call him Shingles you know, Shadel. And like Brian McGee, I know him. You're like, I know all those dudes from Crown. Right. Like those are guys that I've always kind of like. Right, but not the big with. boss. Yeah, I've never had a reason to talk to him. Well now you do. I still don't have a reason, but like You should take him some salt and sugar and have him pick which one. No, no, I'm gonna say this one's one of these is salt, one of these is sugar, and one of these is strict nine. <laughs> oh, tell me which tell one. Me which one. one. Tell, tell me what they all taste like. Tell me which one tastes bad. Wow, I I couldn't do that. That'd be murder. That's not right. Oh, uh, not if he does it himself. <laughs> Suicide. Suicide. Oh my goodness. What you do is you sprinkle a little in each one. <laughs> oh, like uh, was that Princess Princess Bride or some shit? Where the guy he could take both poisons. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were both in the cup. <laughs> then, aha, I tricked you. He's like, no, they were both poisoned. I've, I've just grown immune to it. You fucking idiot. But anyways. Anyway, yeah, John Huber seems like a good guy, man. He's, oh, like, yeah, it's yeah, yeah. So if you like to call in, Mr. Huber, if you're a listener. If, oh, if you're a listener, Mr. Huber. I got drinking. <laughs> yeah. If you're a listener, Mr. Huber, you'd like to call in. We'd like to interview you. Yeah, you some more cooking tips time. that you might be able to give us about salt and sugar. About salt, we we love to talk about. We salt love to talk about salt and sugar. I mean, well, he would, fast. I, I'll tell you right now, right? He would be a stellar Patreon interview. Oh, fucking stellar! Well, set that up. I don't know. Call West. I don't know. I don't know how far he'd go down the rabbit hole. I'm sure that there are a lot of legalities. Call and Michael Herklotz to get Wes on the phone, <laughs> and then it. have Wes <laughs> contact Brian McGee. Dude, Michael Herklotz, Herklotz could not identify me in a you fucking You met him at lineup. the TPE last year. Yeah, he don't fucking know, and he don't fucking remember. <laughs> There's no care. way. He didn't care that day. I'd be like, I'd be like Mr. Herklotz, hey, remember me? He'd be like, no. he would, no, no, he wouldn't do that. He'd be like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like the rest of us do. Sound like industry. a mobster. Of course. The guy, from Padron, your, said the, the guy from Padron said not to talk to you. Your, I'm Mike. I'm the same name as you. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah, 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 yeah. The, the guy yeah, from the, the thing, the cigars. <laughs> from <Yeah>. the cigars. <laughs> That's right. We worked out together somewhere. That's Is right. that what it was? That's right. You're very fit. <laughs> Drew State discontinues here. A hundred skews, including La Veja Habana Underground Sun Grown lines. Mm-hmm. Drew State has informed retailers that it's beginning to trim its portfolio by discontinuing more than a hundred skews. Notably, including the entirety of the La Vieja Habana and Underground Sun Grown lines. La Vieja Habana. La Vieja Habana. La Habana. I never liked the Underground Sun Grown anyway. It's not a big loss. No, you know, keep going. Go. All I right, mean, the premium cigar uh, industry continues to face many challenges, including, yeah, just the supply chain stuff, blah, blah, blah. 106 SKUs are being discontinued, special packaging options, many cigars on the list. Drew stays discontinuing the cigars themselves, and they will no longer be available for purchase. Yeah. In addition, eight of them are from a Hoya de Nicaragua, which oh. Drew Estate dis- distributes in the U.S. The following items are listed for discontinuation. 
I you, have to you're not going to list all of them. No, I didn't even There's like a, it. Yeah, there's like over 100. <laughs> I just got that. That's where it ends. Well, look, I, you know, this and, right. listen, listen cost, is, uh, cost for production are, is continuing to increase, right? Right. So if you're not really, if they're, these aren't heavy movers, of course you're going to trim A lot them. of them I haven't even heard of. For before. one. I mean, La Vieja Habana did well here for a minute, but like that kind of got consumed by factory smokes. Right? right. Yeah. You know. They're really pushing those. It must be really cheap to make, and there must be a big margin on those. I think the other thing, too, which is, yeah, that's probably true. I think the other thing that's uh, that's probably accurate is, you know, you get surrounded by yes people. Right, yeah. Like, oh, this is good. Yeah, right. yeah. Yep. This, right is, on the, this is a fucking good cigar. You're right on the you money know? there, Mike. Yeah. That's, that's a great. You know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. Right. Thanks. I see what you did there. <laughs> Thank you very much. So... <laughs> Phil, we have to kill Mike. Phil liked it. Phil, Mike's got to go. We got to kill him. Again. Taking the cords. Yeah, yeah. Camera yeah. change. He's out. Yeah. Taking the cords. Yeah. And now, and now there's no cords. Cigar Hustlers podcast starring Mike and Phil. But you know, starring who? <laughs> Turn me back. Go ahead, Phil. It'll be me and you now. <laughs> hey, how, how's everyone tonight? I will beat you to death with this mic. Hit me with the pattern then. <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh, not the, not the stand. You're going to be like, oh, Oh, see, so no. I get you with mine. I no, got longer you reach. You can dislodge that in time. No, I You'd be dead by no, then. No, this just pop right off. Just just, a, yeah, you could use a defense mechanism, but it's still Man, bludgeoning through you. Right. So I think that a lot of people, when they make a cigar, you know, what do you think? Oh, oh that tastes good. Oh, it tastes like yeah. toast. Yeah, we should keep is, that. This is amazing. You right. know, I mean, we smoked underground sun grown. I never liked it. No. I even sought it out at first when it first came out. Got You had to find it. I had to try it. It's yeah. the red one. I want the yeah. red one. No. Yeah. It's and like, I got it. I'm like, oh. It's like a Christmas story. You had to find the, yeah, you know, unlock to. the code. Right. Drink more old tea. Drink more old tea. boy, bitch. Right. And the uh, the, the S- secret message is drink, drink more, more old tea. tea. Son of a, a bitch. bitch. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, their portfolio is gigantic. You got to trim trim some fat. Yeah, a lot of places don't even have 100 SKUs, let alone be able to cut yeah. 100 I'm going to, you know what? So here's what we do. Every time KD calls for an order, we, gonna start, pick one we of those? start saying, do you have any, uh, you got any more underground chicks? Oh, we'll just have the list. We'll yeah. just go down the list every yeah. time we call. Oh, no? You saw, no. Oh, you saw no, me? That, that one. How, uh, about, how about this one? Do you have the Dolce Colada? <laughs> no? That's out no. too. How about the underground hmm. sun ground? Do you yeah, have those? I mean, I'm trying to get more skews I'm like here. all three sizes. I'm trying to expand, <laughs> trying to expand <laughs> some faces. Yeah, trying to expand your face and give you more real estate yeah. and humor. Yeah, yeah. Just, I really feel like this is an opportunity, and I would really want to take on every size and <laughs> blend of the La Vieja Habana. Right. Do you have those, though? I like those. Yeah. Is that good? No? You should probably wait another week because they're still taking orders till the 30th. Yeah, so probably, we're only yeah, three days yeah, in. Yeah, so let's not get give crazy. Another, oh, I'll squeeze them in. You'll get it right now. Yeah, yeah. I'll, no, I'll wait till like you get seventy five thousand dollars of sun growth. Like this year, we're looking to expand. All right, right. <laughs> new year, new new, new year. Us. We like you. You're a really good guy. Kid. Yeah, we're gonna. We want we'll just all wait the till sun, after the, the, uh, the Smashing Pumpkins. Yeah. Oh, Greg should try to order those for the Smashing Pumpkins. <laughs> Let me get uh, some more Undercrown sun grown. We yeah. like the red ones. <laughs> Hurricane Ian lands in Cuba. This is obviously a, a dated story, but uh, still, yeah. there's a lot of damage in Cuba. Yeah. Hurricane Ian lands in Cuba. Pinar del Rio of tobacco farm damage and electric grid fails. Of course, uh, like look, our say what you want about our governor. That motherfucker, he's calling shots. He fucking said, "Hey, that we're gonna declare this in a state of emergency before it even hit Cuba." Right. He's like, I'm not fucking around. Did he do something where he refused money and uh, now he's at Biden going, hey, we really like the money you didn't give us. No, no, he, no, they worked it out where he was, he accepted the cash. Oh. He didn't, he was not going to. I just sh- saw headlines. I didn't he's not going to shit on anybody. Like, you know, he's, he's trying to help the people out. Right. He'll fucking work with whoever he he's got to work with. He was in Florida yesterday. Well, he's always in Florida, but he was down in South Florida yesterday. Yeah. In an airboat. A, assessing the damage. With his wife. Did you see that Biden uh, wished uh, was looking for somebody in the uh, crowd? I watched Saturday Night Live. They were talking about he. He was like, "Where's so and so?" And she was dead for over. Oh over my a month. lord! Nobody told him. Nobody. We try and keep everything from him. <laughs> we don't like him to get upset. <laughs> He's such a fragile man. See, the storm made landfall approximately four thirty a.m. local time, and a tweet sent from the account of the first secretary of the Communist Party. He's got his own Twitter. Oh yeah. Yes, apparently. Uh, more than 40,000 residents in the Pinar del Rio region were evacuated. Hello, my name is Hiroshi. I was going to ask you, why is that important to us, I Michael? I'm from Pinar del Rio. That's right. Yes. 
Amongst the tobacco farms affected in the legendary Finca Robanya, the farm of the late there Alejandro Robanya. There it is. Now managed by his grandson, Hirochi Robanya. Images from Hirochi Robanya provided to Half Wheel show a tobacco barn partially collapsed as well as complete destruction to the buildings and equipment. We will rebuild. Hirochi, if you'd like to call us, we'll come help. No, we won't. We'll send Phil. How do we go? We can't go. Phil, American Property Isn't Solutions. Isn't it hard to get to I'd Cuba I'd love to see again? American Property Solutions on the shirts as they're working in Cuba. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be nice. Yeah, you know the send slogan. Send Kenny. You know the slogan. Send Kenny. I'll never return from Cuba. <laughs> You'll never return? They don't have a lot of sports there. Baseball. No sport. I'm, oh, because it says American. <laughs> There's America in there. Bring him here. Uh, um, let's see. Bring that American to me. <laughs> J.C. Newman's El R- Rio Rello factory in Tampa, where is located less than a few miles from Tampa Bay. Yesterday, El Reloj. Reloj. R E L O J. Yeah. Is that how you say that? Mm-hmm. Mm, that's nice. Yesterday, Arturo Fuente <laughs> and J.C. Nice. Newman, both based in Ebor's neighborhood of Tampa, announced that they would close Tuesday through Thursday to give its employees the opportunity to prepare for the storm. Davidoff of Geneva, based in Pinellas Park, is also closed. Retailers are also impacted by the storm. These are all old information. Yeah. I would be so, pissed if you made me close them. They didn't even fucking hit them. Cigars International is closed. Yeah, but it was going to, at one time, go right into Tampa. Yeah, but, like, you're fucking closed on Tuesday, Wednesday? I mean, come on. Right. I know. It's, it's not right. Uh, do you want to do an Asylum Devil's Night or Diesel Sunday? Because we're running out of time. Ooh. Fuck Asylum. Let's go Diesel. Diesel. Diesel Sunday <laughs> gravy wraps up series with Porcelino. This is the final. The final. Did we counter. get all of them? I think, I we, think did. we missed yeah. one. No, we got all of them. How many do you think there was? Uh, Four. There was six. Well, you know what? That's all on Justin <laughs> Andrews. I don't know you, I don't know. Because all... we got the one where it was supposed to come, and then they sent something else, yeah. and then we never got that one. Yeah, you know what? They're a fucking mess, I guess. I think they've had, I think we've we had committed four. to all of them. Uh, let's see. The Porcelino is a 652 Toro that uses Ecuador and Habano wrapper over Nicaraguan Habano binder grown in the Pueblo Nuevo region. While the filler contains Nicaraguan Habano leaves, the blend was developed by Justin Andrus. Yeah. You want to call him? Business development manager of Scandinavian Tobacco Group, North American brand in Risa World Divisions. I'm on this let's call people thing. He's got a very long he title. He doesn't like to answer. I'm going to give out his number if he doesn't answer. <laughs> He's not going to. He never answers the phone. Let's Are you see. connected? It's not ringing. Oh, there it is. Let's see if he answers. Your call has been forwarded. Right, right to voicemail. All right, if you'd like to reach Justin Andrew, the number right, is. I'm going to give you guys some numbers here. <laughs> All of them, but not put them in order? Area code 910-964-3242. And that's all I'm saying. Oh. <laughs> the next two numbers will be given out next week if he doesn't answer the fucking phone. <laughs> Uh-oh. And then you guys can all give him a call and let him know how upset you are about not him not being answering. on the Cigar Hustler podcast. Yeah. So the price set of four ninety nine per cigar, forty nine ninety for a ten count box on the gravy series has been called a limited edition, but production has not been but production numbers have not been released. It's scheduled to begin shipping brick and mortar retailers on October third. So that's today. Oh. See, the Diesel Sunday Gravy Line debuted in August 2021 with San Marzano and since added per, uh, Porcino, which I don't think we got, Rosemarino, Gabagool, and Grappa. The line offers seasonally released Nicaraguan. Uh, Andrews, uh, blended what were they by called? Andrews. Let's see. Let me see if we got them. What, do we, what were they? Uh, let's see all of them. Uh, hold on. Ba, 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 added the P E C O R I N O. That one we had. I'm going to text him right now. You're dead to me. Are you looking these up? Why am I spelling these? I'm here? giving your number out on podcast. All right. Then you don't need to look these up. Fine. All right. And finally, a Florida story. We didn't get them all. No, we didn't get them all. Florida story. Florida Florida story. One, Florida Phil. Story. Stop taxi, Phil. God damn it, Phil. Phil. <sighs> I was looking at the Gabagool. The Gabagool. Ian, the Gabagool. Ian made landfall in Florida Wednesday as a Category 4 storm with maximum sustained winds of 150 miles per hour before it weakened over land. Potentially one of the most severe hurricanes to hit Florida, Ian brought cash, cash, la, 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 catastrophic, catastrophic flooding to the southwestern tip of the state. If this doesn't end with a meth head, I swear to God, we already know the, this news. No, people outside of the Florida don't. Oh, yes, they do. No, they don't. Okay. No, they don't. Sure. Following the first impacts of a hurricane, an estimated 2.5 million people across Florida were hit with power outages, according to the powerouticages.us. Uh, as of Friday there's morning. There's a website for that. There's a website, yes. 
As of Friday morning, there were 10 confirmed deaths from the storm. According to a BBC report, Florida officials have warned the actual figure could be considerably higher. Yeah, we're already at like 90 or something. Uh, let's see. Speaking of Good Morning America on Thursday morning, Lee County Sheriff Carmen um, Marciano addressed these concerns. So while I don't have confirmed numbers, I definitely know fatalities are in the hundreds. Yeah. There are thousands of people waiting to be rescued, said Marciano. That's not funny. No, it's not funny. I just given the I information. I want to know about the guy that fucking, you know, stole There's his stories about lawnmower. Oh, there were no. There's stories about people rescuing cats, rescuing dogs, saving mm. people. I would, you know, like if, if I had to, I'd leave the dogs. I love the dogs. But, you know, well, they're finding them, you know, on top of houses or up on front porches. And yeah. these are people, well, not you, obviously, like Phil going down the road in a boat and they pick yeah. up the dog. Yeah, not me. I'm not in the boat. I'm no, out of them. No, you already said you're leaving the dog. You can leave Bubbles and, uh, and my friend. I love my friend Chapo, El Chapo, Chapo and Bubbles, Bubbles. But, you know, if it gets down to the nitty gritty and it's just me and my kids right? for survival, well, the dog's yes. got to go. Well, what do you have to I mean, let him do? I'm taking the dog. Let him drown. They can swim. Maybe. Mm. What am I going to do? I only got two hands. I got yeah, three you got kids. That big car. What if I'm? It, it, we're underwater. If we're underwater, I'm going to get well, in the you car. Should, you should live sooner, Mike. Aren't we? You know, Brittany's <laughs> not waiting till the water's there. <laughs> get the fuck out! You can start yelling at you as soon as water's coming in the house. Yeah. We should have left. I told you we should have left. You mm. never listened to me. Mm. That's it. Oh, we have a chap of the week, Michael. No. We have listener of the week, Michael. I have nothing for you. It was a rough week. We have nothing for anyone. Listen, there, so. you got to give me a pass on this. Why? You said we had barely any damage here at all. It still, it still consumed the week. You had a lot of free time. Did I? Yes. At the gym. At the gym. You can think about these things <laughs> while you're working I out. could have covered that. At the gym. There was yeah. a lot of people, so you had to wait on the machines. Yeah. A lot of people. A lot of people. All right. All right, that's it. That's all I got. All right, this has been episode uh, 248. We need some kind of slogan at the end. Oh, like a catchphrase? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Gotcha. Well, you know, like, how Zip. about the scars? It's like, fuck it. Burn. Don't burn bridges. Burn that scars. Yours. Not that bridges. was, that yeah. was and, and I'm all for the burning of the bridges. And Huber is also for the what? burning. I don't have one, Phil. What do you want me to look at? But there should definitely. Yeah, I put one on the kitty. Yeah. What? He said burning bridges. What you got? No, I would say something like, you know. Fuck around and find out, or <laughs> something like that. <laughs> you know what you got, Palmer? Go ahead, go ahead. I mean, if it's important to you, it's important to us. It's important to you. <gasps> it's important. <It's> trademarked. <laughs> <laughs> Who says that? Uh, the Smoking Truth. Oh, they do. One of our podcasts that we produce here uh, at the Mike and Mike Production Studios. Oh, okay. If you're interested in the show, contact us. If you want us to do a show for your business, <laughs> we're in a big push. Yeah, well, yeah, it's, yeah. If you for made the, it all the way this far. For the fourth quarter ends. That's it. All right. That's it. That's all we got. All right. Thank you for Thank listening. You we'll see you next much. week. All right. A Cigar Hustlers podcast, its owners and its sponsors, take no responsibility for the opinions or statements made by the talk show host or their guest. Statements or show topics are not necessarily the beliefs of Mike and Mike Productions or the podcast providers, and opinions between talk show hosts may differ. It is not our intention to libel, incite, or hurt anyone's feelings. We invite you to write the show's host, Mike Stepankevich, with any feedback or suggestions that you have for their shows. These broadcasts are presented and made public as entertainment in the hope that they will be entertaining to the audience.